Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And make sure you turn on the notifications by clicking that bell icon. You know, I've noticed, you know, I've got about 800 subs now. And the last few days, a lot of my videos are only getting about 20 views. So that means that YouTube is not going to notify you guys when I upload videos. I start uploading my videos every day starting at 9 a.m. So if you do want to support the channel, make sure you guys do click that bell icon so you do get my videos. It's just how it is. When you're reporting on this kind of news, YouTube is going to suppress it as much as they can, unfortunately. So if you do want to support the channel, please turn on notifications. That way you actually get to see my content. Now the House Panel's Russia report finds no evidence of collusion. Trump says the probe must end now. The House Intelligence Committee on Friday declared that it found no evidence of collusion between the Russian government and Trump campaign during the 2016 presidential election, releasing a heavily redacted final report on its year-long Russia investigation. Now, The Republican-authored report released over Democratic objections stated that the committee found no evidence that the Trump campaign colluded, coordinated, or conspired with the Russian government. The committee did, however, find poor judgment and ill-considered actions by both the Trump and Clinton campaigns. Now, President Trump reacting to the report moments after its release hailed its findings and said the, the Russia witch hunt must end in an apparent swipe at Special Counsel Robert Mueller's ongoing investigation. Now, uh, he said this, quote, just out, House Intelligence Committee report released no evidence that the Trump campaign colluded, coordinated, or conspired with Russia. Clinton campaign paid for opposition research obtained from Russia. Wow, a total witch hunt must end now, Trump tweeted out earlier today. Now, the more than 250-page report was heavily blacked out, however, and the leader of the investigation slammed the intelligence community for their overzealous redactions. He says... I am extremely disappointed with the overzealous redactions made by the IC. Many of the redactions include information that is already publicly available, such as witness names and information previously declassified. Investigative investigation leader Representative Mike Conaway complained in a statement Friday. He said, I will continue to challenge the IC's many unnecessary redactions with the hopes of releasing more of the report in the coming months. Now, the committee's investigation was based on four topics, Russia activity, Russian activity measures against the 2016 U.S. election, the U.S. government's response to the attack, links between the Russians and the Trump and Clinton campaigns, and purported leaks of classified information. Now, the committee also found that there was no evidence that the Trump campaign associates were involved in the theft or publication of Clinton campaign related emails although Trump associates had numerous ill-advised contacts with WikiLeaks. Now the committee outlined poor judgment practiced both by, on both sides or by both campaigns, sorry, though citing that the June 2016 meeting at the Trump Tower between members of the Trump campaign and Russian lawyer Natali Veselinskaya uh, uh, Sorry, who falsely purported to have damaging information on the Clinton campaign de demonstrated poor judgment. Now, the committee also found that the Clinton campaign and the DNC, using a series of cutouts and intermediates to obscure their roles, paid for the opposition research on the Trump obtained uh, uh, on on Trump obtained from Russian sources, including a litany of claims by high-ranking current and former Russian government officials, the report said. Some of this opposition research was used to produce six, uh, 16 memos, which comprise what has become known as the Steele dossier. Now, the release of the full report comes after committee leaders announced key findings last month, prompting a war of words, words between Republican and Democratic members. The GOP majority at the time reported finding no evidence of collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign associates. They also said that based on the investigation, the controversial anti-Trump dossier compiled by British ex-spy Christopher Steele formed an essential part of an application to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court to obtain electronic surveillance on Trump advisor Carter Page. Conaway took over the probe when House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes stepped down back in April 2017 after he was accused of making unauthorized disclosures of classified information in violation of House rules, law regulations, or other standards of conduct. 
but the top Democrat, but the top committee Democrat blasted Republicans last month for prematurely shutting down the panel's Russia probe and renewed their criticism on Friday. Now it says, notwithstanding the decision by the majority to end its work and turn its attention to counter investigations designed to serve the president's interests, the minority's work on the Russia uh, investigation continues. Representative Adam Schiff said in a statement Friday, he said. We will continue our investigation using our every means at our disposal to do otherwise would ignore our responsibility to conduct meaningful oversight and ensure that the Russians do not possess leverage over the President of the United States. So even though it's come out how many times now, Adam Schiff, the left, and the deep state will not give up this Russia collusion. There is none, and they simply won't give it up no, no matter how many times it is reported and, and, and this and the committee found that there is no collusion and they still will not give it up so but if you want to read the full 250 page report um, there is a link in the, in the top of the description below you guys can read the full report if you want to um, but other than that be sure to share like subscribe and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report but I hope you guys have a great day let's make America great again peace